Hello friends. It's an honor to welcome you once again to Rick's Garage. I have another very brief video here for you today. This video is in response to a question I got in my comment section from one of my viewers named Lou. I promised Lou this video and I thought the rest of you might uh, benefit from it. Lou asks, uh, what are the uh, lubricants I use when I'm performing a brake job? And I have them here before you and I'll review them one at a time. All of these products I purchased at AutoZone, I'm sure they're all available at whatever uh, local pot store you have in your area. The first one I want to show you is a product called Silglide. It's made by AGS. And Silglide is used to lubricate the glide pins on my caliper. What I have here is a brand new caliper bracket I'm getting ready to install. Now I don't need to take this apart because being a new caliper bracket, it's already well lubricated from the factory. But I've got one of the older glide pins here. And what I use the Silglide for is to lubricate this pin before I install it. It's uh, made exactly for this purpose. I think it does a great job. The next product is Permatex Anti-Seize Lubricant. I use this for several purposes. One is I put on the hub so that it'll make the rotor easier to remove. I also use it on those little screws that hold the rotor on if the car is so equipped. The biggest thing I use this for is underneath the hardware clip. Now with the Permatex lubricant, what I like to do after I've cleaned the journals where the hardware clips go, I like to put a thin coat of um, Permatex on there. And that kind of protects the caliper bracket from rusting. Um, what can happen is uh, corrosion can build up underneath these clips and force them outward and then they'll uh, prevent the um, pads from sliding back and forth as they need to. So you don't need to put a lot. I just put a little coating here just to make sure that we um, can prevent that from rusting. Then we go ahead and we install our hardware clips. The next product is CRC brake and caliper grease. I use this to lubricate the clips that go in the caliper bracket. This allows the pads to slide freely. They call these floating calipers and not only does the caliper need to float but so do the pads and this lubricant ensures that that occurs. Once your hardware clips are installed this is what I use the CRC brake and caliper grease. It's made exactly for this purpose. Put a little coating of this grease on the uh, caliper uh, bracket clips. And this keeps the uh, pads well lubricated so that they will easily slide back and forth. The last thing I want to show you here is the CRC Brake Clean Pots Cleaner. This is a little bit more expensive than some of the other pots uh, cleaners. I like to use this brand, even though it's a little bit more expensive, is because it's non-flammable. If you've ever seen some of my videos, I'm always working on my bench here and I have charging devices, and you don't want to be spraying something around that can cause a fire. So I like to use this for that reason. And it also does a great job of cleaning the uh, contaminants off of your rotors and pads. But anyway, that's what I use these products for. The uh, Just to review, the um, caliper grease goes on top of the hardware clips. The Permatex goes underneath the hardware clips. And the Silglide I use to lubricate the glide pins. So I hope that answers your question, Lou. I know, Lou, that you requested that I provide a link to all these products. I did not do that because um, I did not buy them online. 
They're all readily available at your local parts store. I got these at AutoZone. If you're not near an AutoZone, I'm sure your local parts store carries these products or some very close facsimile. That's really all I've got. I just wanted to respond to Lou's question and I thought the rest of you might benefit from this information. Once again, I want to thank you for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I'm going to post two videos to your left. Feel free to click on one or the other if you find them of interest. And to my right, I'm going to post a picture of my trusty German Shepherd. He's my avatar. Feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe. So once again, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again very, very soon.